What was it like watching the late Whitney Houston battle her drug addiction? I talk in my book. After she got married to Bobby Brown, after The Bodyguard, which was the biggest success, 36 million worldwide sales of that album, worldwide, movie star, knowing that the rumors of her dealing with drugs were becoming louder, never apparent to me. Any meeting I had with her, any interchange I had with her, she was on top of her game. So you see what's in front of you. But when the signs became inescapable, I write in my book how I invited her. Bobby was in jail. He, I don't think he had it, was any cause of her drug taking. I think this was a codependent relationship. They were, quote, crazy in love, but it was not healthy for either of them. And I invited her and her daughter to my weekend home up in the Bedford Pound Bridge area, and I confronted her with it. She didn't bolt. She listened. We were too close. There was no bolting from, as she might from any other person. She just said it's, she was in denial on that occasion. And she said, it's not as serious as you make out. And if it were, I would deal with it. So that was not productive. But a year later, I saw her at the Michael Jackson concert at Madison Square Garden. We're now in 2001. And she was a skeleton. And I include the letter in my book that I wrote to her where I said, you know, I gasped, I cried. You're not going to escape this. I was totally direct. You have to. This is going to kill you. 